All right, hey guys. This is gonna be a, a short series about my uh, self bows. Um, these are my self bows. I have a uh, 45 pound Elm, 45 pound Osage, a 35 pound Elm, and a 38 pound Black Locust. And uh, these are all homemade bows, handcrafted by myself. And uh, some of the uh, things that go along with it, like my basket quiver and my fox quiver. So let's get started. All right. And last but not least, this is my uh, 45 pound Osage longbow. It's got a bunch of custom stuff on it. <laughs> this was a, a 72 inch stave I ordered from Pine Hollow's longbow as well. But they sent me one with the knot right on the end, right in the middle right on the end so I had to cut it 65 inches that is borderline for what you need for the right cast for a 45 pound uh, longbow so I did a couple of custom things that went in the end of the world raised knocks to get the string as far away as possible with that short length um, glued it on there there's a red oak knot uh, string grooves lashed it down <clears throat> same on the other side Red oak lashed down, then glued, super glued, and then tongue, oak, tongue oiled over all that uh, sinew. This artificial sinew, obviously. And uh, had another crazy knot right here in the wood that I had to get around. Um, so I was able to do that. Leaving it a little thick right here. Allowed for the right amount of tiller, even though it's real thin. Obviously thinner than it should be, but... It's not a great big deal. There's B50 string. I left a big string uh, loop in it so it could get around the top knot, the top string groove like it is. Uh, when, you, when you pull it back, uh, the string turns like this. You let it go and it comes down. This big string eye lets it uh, <clears throat> do that with no problem. <clears throat> this is a fox hair silencer. I had a little extra fox hair off my fox quiver, which I didn't... Uh, show for some reason um, these other uh, spots are just to equal out this the only reason I put this on here is because whenever I pulled back it started it had to just a hairline crack where it wanted to separate right there so I uh, seized that down then a suede handle stitched uh, leather the leather lace here um, fox fur arrow shell sticky bag felt um, what else ergonomic handle carved in use my rasp to get in there so I, nice grip you know it fits my hand perfect which is a cool thing with customs works you can make it fit you exactly how you want it to and uh, browning served no uh, no pinch knock pinch you know nothing like that on any of my bows so I can shoot whatever kind of arrows I want and not worry about the uh, pitch being challenged. These are uh, <clears throat> these are some Three Rivers uh, pre pre stained. You know, it's got the Three Rivers crest, True Flight feathers that I dipped the the front of them in the. Uh, I had a glass of dye and I just dipped the front end to make them look like eagle feathers. But they're True Flight four and a half inch feathers, I believe. Browning Knox, uh, 125 field tips on these. And uh, this this baby is surprising. This is like our super light bow. It's my lightest bow. Um, it shoots really fast, and it's the, my shortest bow as well. At 65 inches. <clears throat> All right, we'll try it with these. Oh, I fletch these with the fletching jig too, so they're kind of you know matched. <clears throat> this is my bamboo quiver. I uh, made this myself out of some bamboo out of my mom's yard. Uh, cut it, split it, quartered it, and then uh, you know bent it. Built it while it was green, so it was flexy, and uh, it's still green. I built this over a year ago. Wow! Built it over a year ago, and it's still got some green tint to it. So that's pretty cool. Um, all right, and it works good. And then wearing the quiver down like this instead of on your back. Let's see. Wearing your quiver like this instead of on your back 
when you're shooting your bow, you're like this. You pull it back, you let go, your hand's already right here for the next arrow. You know? And, it, and it's super easy. You grab it and you put another one on there, you know? It, uh, it's a lot easier, especially retrieving your arrows. You go over there to the target and you retrieve your arrows and you got a back quiver on, then you're like, where's my quiver, you know? Where, uh? This one wouldn't be so bad because it's wide open, you know, but it's a lot easier to pull them out of the target and throw them right in here in the front because you can see what you're doing. Anyways, just a little tip on that. <clears throat> well, okay, we're going to try to shoot the old target over there. Let's see. Give it a little bit of zoom. Okay. All right. 25 yards. Osage, 45 pound bow. Oh man. Nah, a little low. <clears throat> a little high. And a little to the left, but I'm sure you can see how fast that arrow went down through there. Now, uh, let me pause and I'll do another demonstration real quick. <clears throat> 